the market is pretty much 50-50 on whether or not the rate cut actually happens today. And it was uh, pricing and 70% probability of a cut just a few weeks ago. So uh, some of those expectations have been dialed back, but still the market really doesn't have a solid idea of what the Bank of England are going to do today. Now, just let me take you back to November, the last monetary policy report. Back then we had two members of the nine-member committee vote for a rate cut, Michael Saunders and Jonathan Haskell. Since then, other members have also sounded equally dovish. Tenereiro and Vlicha have also uh, thrown their hat into the ring and have said that if the situation doesn't improve, then it, it could uh, the, the economy could actually warrant an interest rate cut. And even Governor Carney has sounded a little bit more dovish recently as of late. So the numbers certainly add up to around four five members if five members vote for a cut then we will get a cut today now looking at the data though you could say that since the general election we actually have seen an uptick the PMIs are doing better services PMIs are at a 14 month high consumer business confidence month on month has seen the biggest improvement since 1958 so certainly there is a bit of momentum that's building and you would expect some of the uh, members of the MPC to be watching that and saying hmm, it may be a bit premature for us to think about interest rate cuts on the flip side, you mentioned inflation, CPI numbers have been drifting lower, but again, back in November, the Bank of England pointed to some base effects that may be playing in there, and that's one of the reasons why those numbers are drifting lower. They may get to as low as about 1.2, 1.3% purely on back of seasonal and base effects. Retail sales numbers have been slightly weaker as well. So there are a couple of elements that are pointing to the cut today. One other thing that I want to mention too is uh, the fiscal spending side of things. Back in November, the Bank of England had included a boost of four tenths of a percentage point from the already announced fiscal plans. Since then, as you very well know and have been covering Willem, we had the general election. We've heard from the Chancellor Sajid Javid, uh, who seems in intent on ending uh, fiscal austerity, has talked a lot about further investment into the economy, up to about three percentage points of GDP. And many economists I speak to out there think that the fiscal tailwind could add another half a percentage point to the UK economy this year. So that would be another positive for the UK economy. Add to that the fact that we may get investment come back in again, we may get a sentiment boost and now that some of the Brexit uncertainty is out of the way. So that's why even though the markets are divided on what the Bank of England may do, most economists out there think that they shouldn't actually opt for a cut. And it is Governor Carney's very last press conference. So we'll see what he has to say in just a couple of hours time. I'll be there.